What's going on, everybody? It's your main man, Drew Two. I'm back at you again with another video. Smash that like button. Smash that share button. Hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 2K. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's go and show some love in them comments. All right, here we go. Let your stalkers have their fun. When you become unaffected by their tactics, the game is over. All right? People who try to force themselves on you, people who try to end up where you're at when you're going there, you try to get a bag of chips. They want to go get chips the same time as you try to annoy you. You're going to the store. They, they know you're going to the store. They'll go to that same store to see you there to try to get you to see them so they could bother you how they know they affect you. But guess what? When you become unaffected, the game is over. When you stop caring, the game is over. And the one way to make yourself stop caring, right? Because it's jacked up when people are stalking you, when people are watching your every move. And it's jacked up when people follow you, when you're just trying to enjoy a few moments of peace to yourself. It's jacked up when people try to, oh, you're going to go there. I'm going to go there too. All right. That's annoying. But the one thing that makes you be able to, to not care about it because people say, oh, just don't care about it. How you gonna care, not care about something that's happening to you when it's affecting you negatively? You're going to care about it. So what you have to do is you have to just, instead of just not caring about it, you got to figure out why it's bothering you so you cannot actually care about it. Instead of somebody gaslighting you, just saying not, don't care about it. You have that there's a there's a reason why you won't care. Something's bothering you. You can't just stop caring about it. You have to figure out why it's bothering you, become unaffected by it, become unbothered by it. And then you as a result, you won't care. So then you will be able to stop caring. All right. When you're going through something and people are inconsiderate and people are uh, not understanding, don't take it personal, but don't care about their opinion when their opinion isn't helpful. Don't care about their opinion. Because when you're going through something and somebody isn't serving you, somebody's not inspiring you, then you don't need to be paying attention or um, engaging or entertaining what that person has to say. Don't engage with that person. Don't entertain what that person has to say. All right. Because when you let your stalkers have their fun, when you learn why what their behavior is bothering you, when you become unaffected by their behavior and their tactics, the game is over. They are no longer to get the same energy out of you. You could care two, two bathroom visits about what they're up to or what they're doing because you're so focused on yourself and what you're doing and the newfound, the newfound excitement you have with life. All right, life used to be annoying for people like you. Life used to be hard for people like you in this sense. All right, it's not going to stop being annoying. It's not going to stop being uh, troublesome, but it becomes better when you figure things out and you make progress and you have mental breakthroughs. When you overcome certain things that were holding you back mentally, when you were in a place mentally that was keeping you stuck. All right. And you don't want to be stuck mentally because things and people will try to hold you down and keep you bound when they see you trying to no longer be around. All right. And it's just the devil trying to use them to get you to put your focus on your surroundings instead of what you're trying to manifest. All right. Your your mind's eye is usually focused on success, good things, money, health, wealth, prosperity, people who are making you feel good, inspiring you and stuff like that. But the devil wants to use people around you, low energetic beings to try to get your focus on the wrong things. So that way you, you, you won't be focused on the things that will elevate you. Your attention will be on the things that hold you down, keep you bound and keep you around and keep you uh, with a uh, frown. All right. So what you want to do is let your stalkers have their fun, because when you let them have their fun, when you accept the fact that, yo, I can't stop these people's behavior. I wish I could stop them from following me. I wish I could stop them from popping up at the places where I go to to try to have a little seconds of peace, get my stuff and get out. But I can't stop them since I can't stop them. I'm not going to allow it to bother me. I have to realize that I can't control everything that happens around me. All right. People want to follow me. People want to watch me. People want to be weird. Those are things that I can't control. 
But what I can control is how I look at it, how I feel about it, how I view these people. All right. I have to have some understanding here. This is bothering me because I need to grow. This is getting on my nerves because there's something that I need to fix. I have to figure out why it's getting on my nerve so I don't let it get on my nerve. All right. And once I figure out why this is bothering me, why I'm so angered and upset by this, instead of running from the problem, ooh, 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 all right, instead of running from the problem, a lot of times, unfortunately, we're trying to solve our problem, but we don't know we're running from it. Let me just not think about this. Uh, let me just focus on something else. In a few minutes, I'll be distracted by it, or let me just let it go. You could try to let things go, but if something is bothering you and it keeps popping back up, that's a sign that you have, you're going to have to you're going to have to be able to do some things first within you so you can actually let that go. All right. Because there are some things that you may have to fix about yourself that are still holding on to that situation. All right. So you got to fix yourself and you got to fix what is wrong so you aren't holding on to any any negative situations. OK, you don't want to hold on to any negative situations. Holding on to negative situations keeps you stuck, keeps you bound without a smile, but with a frown. All right. That's what I was trying to say earlier. That's why I said frown like five times. But um, let your stalkers have their fun. They enjoy being negative. You can't stop people from being sick. If somebody wants to be sick, if somebody gets enjoyment when they're miserable, if they're miserable and somebody gets enjoyment out of trying to make other people miserable, yes, that is a sickness, but if that's what they enjoy, if that's what they spend their time doing, you're not going to be able to change them just because you wish they would stop. You're not going to be able to change them just because you want them to stop. All right. And this is all growth. All right. This is a growth mindset. I can't stop people from doing things I don't like, but what I can do is control how I feel about it. All right. Stalkers are going to have fun when they stalk you. They're going to have fun when they make you upset. Ooh, I'm in the same place you are. You don't like me and I'm still here. I showed up at the same place that you are. You don't like me. How immature is that? Think about that. Why is this really making me mad? Because you wish they wouldn't show up at the same place you are. You wish they wouldn't show up at the same place as you. But the one thing that you can control is how you feel about them. You could take your attention off of them and put it on something good. Take your focus off of them and put it on something that's better for you, something that serves you, something that will make your life better. Don't focus on people who don't make your life worse. Focus on people who make your life better. If somebody or something isn't making your life better, take your attention off of them and put it back onto yourself. Put it back onto a good Bible verse. All right. The joy of the Lord is my strength. All right, no weapons formed against me shall prosper. All right, and the weapon formed against against you won't prosper when you focus on godly things, when you focus on good things. You could say the weapon formed against me won't prosper all you want, but if you're focused on the the things that's not making you prosper, then that weapon is that weapon is weaponized against you and working. That weapon is pow, 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 pow. that weapon is whooping whooping your behind. That weapon is 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 being used against you and it's prospered. All right, and you're the one you're the one using it against yourself and prospering it, prospering that weapon against yourself because you're ruminating over things. Meditate. All right, meditate on better things instead of ruminating over worse things. You want to meditate on the fact that I can't control the world around me, but what I can do is control myself. You cannot control the world around you, no matter how hard you want to try. And I'm not trying to act like you are trying to control the world around you. You just have a desire for people to stop doing the things that they're doing. You ain't trying to control nobody. All right. You ain't, you're not trying. You really don't care about these stalkers. But the thing is, because you don't care about them, they will do things that you don't like to try to make you care about them. If they can figure out what you don't like and they do it and they become annoying to you, then the people who are obsessed with you that you don't give a S H I T about now you care about them. I knew he cared about me. I knew she cared about me. All I had to do was get on her nerves. All I had to do was bother them. They're, they're crazy. All right. These, these people have disorders and they're not working on themselves. All right. If, if you have a sickness and you don't get well, you still, you, you still sick. You, you still sick. All right. So they, they are sick. And since they want to be sick, we have to allow them to be sick. All right. You just, you might be Mr. Medicine. You might be Mrs. Medicine, but just because you want to get well, doesn't mean everybody else want to get well. You can't stop me from being sick. 
I'm going to be sick. You can't make me well. I don't want to be well. Hey, I can't, I can't um, bring you up, but I'm not going to let you bring me down. If I can't let you, if I can't bring you up, I'm not going to let you bring me down. All right. So since you're not going to let people bring you down because they won't let you bring them up, don't let them bring you down. All right. So don't don't let stalkers bring you down. All right. Let them have their fun so you can have your fun. All right. Let the, let these let them stop. Woo, you, they're following. You. Who cares? All right. People are stuck. People do. People are going to do a whole bunch of things that you don't like. But what you got to do is you got to get over it. You, you, you people, Just because somebody does something you don't like doesn't mean you have to get bent out of shape over it. Just because somebody does something you don't like doesn't mean you have to ruin your day and be upset and be butthurt and, and boo-hoo. They did something I don't like. All right, you could, you could still have a great day when people are trying to make you have a bad one. Michael Jackson, head swift. Okay, uh, head swivel. You can still have a... Even just because somebody's trying to uh, do you some bad doesn't mean you can't have a good day. All right? You could still have a good day just when, even if somebody's trying to make you have some bad. All right? So you, they, they, they might be some bad news bears. Okay, woo, the bad news bears. Okay, they might be some bad news bears. Okay, they always got bad news. Rah, I'm a bad news bear. You don't want to see me, but I'm going to make you see me. Rah, you can't control that bad news bear, okay? But you can control how it makes you feel. I'm not going to allow that weak-minded individual to stop God. I'm not going to allow that, that demonic being to stop God. Aren't we God? Aren't they demons? But the thing is, we have to realize how we're God and we have to deal with them on a God level. All right. When you realize how and why you're God, when you realize how to deal with them on a God level, which I'll be making some videos about shortly. Once you realize how to deal about these with these people on a God level, they won't bother you anymore. You'll let them go off and do their little pre-K activities, even though they're a grown person in a grown body. They got the the smarts of a, a first grader. Are you smarter than a first grader? No, they're not. Okay, no. They're not. So let your stalkers live in first grade. Let your stalkers play on the pray the the you know whoo, the playground. Let your uh, let your stalkers play on the playground. All right, since they want to prey on you, all right. Only thing they're gonna get is devoured by the Lord. Okay, you're the line of Judah is gonna tear them to shreds. So keep your present focus on better things. Keep your present focus on your future. Keep your present focus on what you want out of life. Don't let these people take your mind off what you want out of life. The devil is using them. Before you even saw them, what were you focused on? Something good, something wonderful, something amazing, something that had to do something with you and your life, because that's what you're focused on, you and your life. But other people, there are going to be other people who are focused on others more than they should be. We are going to have to just accept that. The watchers, the stalkers, the nobodies, all right? We call them nobody, not because they're nobody, but because they got nobody, soulless, okay? With the, with the hyphen in between, all right? For all you uh, perfectionists out there. But um, let your stalkers have fun. If they think it's fun to follow you, cool. They think it's fun to walk behind you, do weird stuff, whatever the hell they want to do. And hell's in the Bible. If they think it's fun to do all those weird things, what you have to do is don't allow them to steal your fun. They think it's fun because they're putting a, 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 a frown on your face because they just they know that you're a person that feels good by staying to themselves. You don't want to talk to nobody. You don't want to share your energy with nobody. And guess what? You don't have to. You don't owe anybody an explanation and you don't have to accept any forced interactions. You don't have to allow somebody to force themselves onto you if you don't want to interact with them. If you don't want to talk to somebody, you don't have to. All right. Set boundaries for yourself. Don't be afraid. You're not hurting nobody's feelings. If you don't like something, don't allow people to make you feel crazy or wrong because you don't like a behavior that they're doing. All right. If you don't like their behavior, tough Skittles. If you don't like their behavior, tough whatever. They if they they're gonna have to deal with that. Oh, I don't yeah, whatever. Walk off a negative and, and be the person be the person you know you was meant to be. All right, don't try, don't try to make it feel, don't try to make Drew Tube feel like I brought that out of you. You brought that out, you had that since you woke up this morning. And, and on top of that, you're trying to bring it over here. How dare you? How dare you? Don't no, don't no. 
I'm trying to bring that over here. No, I don't want none of that. You see what I got over here? Love, success, health, prosperity, and money. Don't try Don't try to bring that over here. All right, we're on a whole nother wavelength, people. All right, I'm waving over here. I'm waving you by because your wavelength is low and not high. Your wavelength got to be higher. All right, you got to have good vibrations. All right, your vibrations got to be good. They got to. Ma- we got to be a vibrational match. If not, how can we resonate? So let your stalkers have fun so you can have more fun. When you stop trying to control people, you get your peace of mind. You get you some peace of money. You get you some peace of rest because you can sleep easier at night. All right, you get you a piece of good morning because you can wake up. And, 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 and when you wake up in the morning, you ain't focused on nothing negative from yesterday. Focus on some things that you can't change from yesterday. All right, and now you have a good day. You just had a good night. You just had a good day. And what, what's left for you to have a good rest of your day? Good afternoon. And now when you keep focused on the right, right things and when negative people come around and you put your mind back on the things it's supposed to be on, you're repeating the proper cycle instead of the negative cycle. Think about that. People bothering you. You take it to sleep. You didn't let it go. People bothering you. Now it's in your dreams. It's affecting you. People bothering you. You wake up in the morning. It's on your mind because you didn't fix it and, and uh, deal with it from yesterday. Now people bothering you from yesterday in the morning situation now you got new problems still didn't deal from something yesterday now you got new something going on because you, you didn't fix your mind yet all right now you're backed up with problems and issues you see why people walking around stressed and vexed and upset you got to correct these things bars all right you got to correct these things focus on things that are pure good heavenly just righteous wholesome wonderful amazing goodly godly and take your mind off them punks, man, because they're weird, okay? You don't need to be focused on weird people. You don't need any weird energy to flow to you, all right, especially theirs. What you need to do is focus on your good energy, your right energy, so you can manifest a good, right, proper people so that you can have the good, right, proper experiences. And this will all happen when you start focusing on the right things. You know you, 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 you are a, a person who attracts the right things. You are an attractor. The devil's using these people to try to get you on a, a negative wavelength so you attract what the devil wants for you instead of what God wants for you. Are we making sense or are we not? Okay, this math is mathing, all right? The devil is not trying to let you manifest the people that you want in your life. He wants you to focus on all these people on a lower vibration around you in the area where you're at so you stay stuck and you don't end up going to a new area meeting the people that God wants you to meet, having the new experiences God wants you to have because you're never getting off the ground level. The devil wants to keep you on the ground level. All right. So when you elevate away from people who hella hate then you could get to a new place in your mind, all right, where you could manifest your good because you're focused on good, where you could manifest some paper because you're able to focus on paper and not a hater because haters get the vapors, all right? Haters get the vapors, y'all. They get the vapors, all right? Haters get the vapors. Don't worry about these people now because you know you don't have to. Don't focus on these people now because you know you don't have to. They tried to steal your focus. You didn't have to let them. Mm. And, and then are we saying something they try to steal your focus we don't have to let them just because somebody is trying to affect us negatively we don't have to accept it uh, we don't have to agree with it we're supposed to be agreeing with the fact that we're we're we're, we're rich we're supposed to be agreeing with the fact that we're at peace we're supposed to be agreeing with the fact that we're healthy we're supposed to be agreeing with the fact that all good things are supposed to be happening to me Good things are supposed to be happening to me. And when you get your mind focused on the, the right things, you feel better. You better have a better outlook on life. You might even might even let go of some things that you've been holding on to that haven't been serving you, that have been dead weight in your life, holding you down, weighing you down, being a, a, a bad magnet for bad things. All right. At the end of this video, you're going to be attracting some amazing things. You're going to be attracting some great things because if you rewind this video back, go over it a few times and play. If you play this, we'll never if you come back to this video, whenever somebody piss you off, whenever somebody upsets you, whenever somebody gets on your nerves, I guarantee you by the end of this video, you will feel amazing. You'll feel better. You'll feel like you just hit the lottery. You'll feel refreshed. You'll feel highly favored and can't forget blessed. All right. And you'll take your life from the uh, uh, from better to from, you'll take your life to better from a mess because 
you're about cleaning up your life. Other people, they want to maintain and muck and mire and wallow in it. All right. That's why the Bible says don't cast your pearl among swines. These people want to wallow in, in, in the muck and mire. They don't want to change. They don't want to elevate and you can't make them. They don't want to be a better person and you can't change them. All right. Even even uh, wanting to change people and, and wasting your precious energy, your precious thought process, your precious time, your precious day. That's still casting your pearls among swine on a higher level. All right. Because. You can't get that time back and your energy is too good to be focused on these people. You focus on them, you give them your power. You think about them, you give them your power. All right, so take your power back. Think about good things. Think about the right things. All right, you're thinking about the wrong, you're, what do you say? You're worried about the wrong things, the wrong things. All right, Kanye got a lot of one-liners. Wait till I get my money right and you worry about the wrong things. All right, and if you're not getting your money right, you worry about the wrong things probably some haters all right so watch this video so you could be greater and it's going to get greater later okay thank you everybody this video is coming to a close appreciate everybody for hitting that like button that share button and that subscribe button because we are almost at 2k y'all all right appreciate everybody helping me get there shout out to everybody showing love with the super the uh, super chats and the cash apps i appreciate it all right I'll see all you amazing, wonderful people in the next video. This has been another Drew Tube special. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels. We are live. We rising. We are we rising from the dead. Time to nail that uh, rugged. Time to nail that uh that rugged. Time to what he say? Time to nail that rugged cross to the ground and exchange it for a crown. I'll let him.